Alright, let's clear our FC EX8 with the high end AFK strategy. I will directly do it on the challenge mode. You can use the same strategy for the normal one. Also, remember that there is a middle, the trimmed middle. Uh, here. This one. And the condition of it is that when you finish the stage, FC EX8, the normal one, guys, normal one, not the challenge mode, because you can get only the middle from the normal one. Um, like when you finish the stage, there are at least six bushes. Uh, which are not burning, so six must be like um, not burning. Yeah, uh, I will show you in the challenge mode. Though. Anyway, so for the challenge, if you're doing the challenge mode, you can just ignore these steps to make it fully FK. But if you're doing a normal one, you wanted the module, you can just follow these extra steps. This is the squad we're gonna use basically: Flag Vanguard, um, Thornson, Mountain, uh, Seiya, uh, how is it called? Hoshi. Nightingale, we don't need the module, so you can take off. Then um, another good uh, medic, I will take Tilopsis. Then a Sculptor and Golden Glow. Instead of Golden Glow, you have a lot of choices. You can use the casters um, like this, um, this one first skill. Uh, passenger is manual trigger, but you can also use it, to be honest. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, Golden Glow is the best in, com in combination with the Sculptor. Last, last four slots, up to you. You can, you, you can bring uh, Heli Drops, etc. to help. Mm, let's do this. The caster is not really really needed since I tried already and the torso can kill the enemies uh, uh, fast enough already by... I mean, torso can handle it. It's, it's just that the caster will help kill the boss faster, making the run faster. And also help kill some enemies. If you don't bring the caster, still remember to bring a ranger unit to help torso to kill the first uh, uh, flying enemy because thorns without the skill cannot kill it. Now, first of all, remember uh, just to deploy um, Flag Vanguard here to gain DP. Just use it. Then uh, Nightingale here for some bottom side. Immediately use a cage above Nightingale. Mountain here for some uh, bottom side. Now just to wait for DP. And uh, deploy thorns here for some bottom side. So the job of this cage is to turn off the burning here on this bush. When you see the bar is not increasing anymore, means that you turn it off. Now just to keep get TP, activate the mountain skill now, remember, else, enemy, else enemies will pick. Now deploy Sculptor here, facing any direction you want, and the Seaborn below uh, Nightingale. By doing this, the Seaborn can help turn off that uh, bush. The burning bash. Now deploy Golden Glow here face on right side. Because the Thorns without a skill cannot kill this enemy. This enemy will leak. Also remember when this enemy dies uh, will release a uh, summoning. Okay, now just to deploy the defender around uh, now. So this one will start to auto attack by kiting and uh, you have time to kill. Medic here face on the bottom side, for any direction you want, the signs AOE will be able to heal this two anyways. Okay, as you can see it became a thingy and Thor's will just kill it. Now deploy last defender, which is the tankiest one, Hoshi here, to block the boss, because the boss will just do this route, go downside, go here, go here, and go inside the portal. Then come out from here and go here, into this blue box. So we just block here. That means you have to deploy these two defenders as your last uh, operator. Since during first first phase, the boss will choose one target to put the mark. But on the second phase, the boss will choose uh, two targets to put the mark. So it will be uh, Sarah and uh, Hoshi. And since it does cross damage, by doing this deployment, the cross damage will not hit any other operators besides these two. And you have enough healing to handle it. Now you don't need uh, this one anymore, the skill I mean, but keep the operator here. Because we needed the operator to turn off the bash. For the middle, of course. The only problem for this one is that uh, you will activate the uh, Thorns skill a bit later, when the boss is here, since these enemies will be killed by Golden Glow, since Golden Glow is really stronger. But uh, yeah, it's still uh, yeah, pretty FK, so. All good. As you can see, this is the first mark, will be destroyed, nothing to worry about. And Thorns will start to... Okay, just use Thorns to skill. 
left side, uh, um, if you want, you can use the Seabar to help a bit, but uh, level 85 Manta and you can handle it pretty well. Now you just need to activate the Tornstone skill one more time. Okay, here we go. Now, if you're doing the challenge mode, just AFK till the end. If you're doing the normal one and you're doing the module as well, then um, when the boss revives and burns all the bushes on the field, deploy a seaborn on this tile and the second doll cage on top side of Nightingale. So by doing this, these, these, these four bushes will be turned off. These three bushes will be turned off as well, but we don't count this one. Because this one will keep a spread, and maybe when you finish the stage, depending on the DPS, um, if the time is wrong, this one will spread to here, and if Manta cannot uh, help, uh, cannot, uh, how to say, turn it off in time, uh, this one is not counted. So we just count this one, this one, this two, plus this four, already six. So perfect number to get the main middle for the normal one. But for the challenge mode, you don't need to deploy these two uh, summonings to, to turn off the bash. Don't worry about it, uh, the burning will not uh, kill uh, your your Nightingale and Dornsa. So you can just uh, ignore the fire there for the challenge one. Also, go every time the see this thingy corruption damage it gets fully charged, we reduce a lot of HP of Golden Gold, but don't worry, the healing will be enough. Also, we can counter this one from uh, Skadi as well, so we have seven. Really, really good. Now we just slowly slowly kill yeah, the boss. Here we go. Really, really simple.